Age Exchange is a remarkable charity that was set up over 38 years ago. It's a community facility in Blackheath which was really designed to support people who are affected by dementia in a way that maintains their dignity, gives them hope, it gives them a whole range of support. For me, Age Exchange is the ideal community. It's a model of excellence as to what we would like society to be. It's on the high street. It's, there's, it's easy access. There's a, a great a library that's there, there's a cafe that's there. But also there's this genuine concern and sense of compassion. It's a real focus for the area. It's hard to imagine the high street without the Age Exchange now. When dementia touches your life, you feel isolated and alone. It's hard to imagine the sense of distress when the memories of a lifetime begin to fade away and the world around you ceases to make sense. Only a family carer knows what it feels like to see the person that they love most change in front of their eyes. But through arts, creativity and social connection, Age Exchange is bringing communities together and changing lives. We use reminiscence, but we mix that with all of the arts, whether that's singing, acting, dancing, or a whole range of visual arts. It enables people to, to try new things. That's what it's about, supporting people with dementia, to help somebody communicate in the way that is right for them. It's what we've discovered over the years of our work, that connecting with people's memories through th using things that might stimulate a childhood memory or a memory of their young adult life, but to express that creatively. All of those things actually help to engage people, give them some purpose and show that they can still learn. Reminiscence Art is about finding unique, improvisational, creative ways to support people that we otherwise can't understand and we leave locked into their state. Society very much looks at people with dementia about what they've lost rather than what they still have to give. And for us at Age Exchange, what people still have to give is a really important part of their health and well-being. My mom, she doesn't know where she is. That's why it causes uh, anxiety. In the Age Exchange, this art project is more on things you can do, which is encouraging. Age Exchange has brought back the mum and dad that I remember who are chatty, outgoing, involved and happy to be alive. They're actually involved, they're talking to other people and I look and I think Age Exchange has brought back their life. Hilary uh, developed early onset dementia. Just in the short period we've been here we've had a really positive experience that's made the grimness of life a bit less grim. I love it because there's a genuine sense of loving and enthusiasm. It's a really nice experience. As a carer, you need to be patient and quiet and supportive, and that can be quite difficult to sustain. So coming here and meeting other people and sharing a bit of experience with carers, this gives us a vital opportunity. There's always someone there that you can say, what do you think about this? To find somebody who will actually sit and listen to you can make a huge difference. A lot of the, the people who go there, some people think of them as people that you can't even reach, but in fact you can if you can give them the time. The moment when a husband reconnects with his wife, an example, a lady could, couldn't remember her own name anymore and we worked on a dance project with them together um, and that's when we realised that she still had an embodied memory of being able to waltz and so every session they would waltz together and what that gave him, seeing his wife as the woman that he'd fallen in love with, at the end of her life maybe, but when they were dancing together it was like it was at the beginning. These are electric moments. Right now, there are 850,000 people in the UK living with dementia. Tragically, one in three people born today will develop the condition in later life. Great challenges require great ideas. In partnering with one of Britain's biggest and most successful social care charities, Community Integrated Care, Age Exchange is ready to share the impact of Blackheath across Britain. Dementia is rapidly growing 
and this is a, a huge concern and it should be a huge concern for local government and for central government as well. Organisations such as uh, Age Exchange and Community Integrated Care is organisations that we desperately need now and in the future. We are seeing this in incredible growth in the number of people affected by dementia where you are being impacted as a family, you're not only needing extra resources in supporting the care and support of your loved one, but as a whole family, the impact of the condition means that the consumption of primary care and secondary care is also massively escalating. We have an existential threat to society and we are not giving it the airtime that it deserves. We need to do everything that we can to uh, delay a person with dementia going into a care home under crisis. So anything that we can do such as what this organisation is doing, where it's supporting both people with dementia, their carers, their family, their friends, and working with the local authority, that needs to be what we need to be working towards. I am very concerned that we live in a country where very large numbers of people live in isolation and loneliness. I feel enormous sympathy for people that don't have access to a service like Age Exchange. People who are alone for long periods of time they are really immediately at risk. I think age exchange proves the impact in a community. What we're now looking to try and do is to dramatically increase the number of facilities so that as this tidal wave of dementia hits the society, we have community facilities where there are buddy groups, there are specialists, there are appropriate training facilities for families and for carers and more importantly an environment where the individual that sadly is going through the dementia journey can actually have uh, a good day out. The idea of Age Exchange Hubs is a great idea because ultimately we know it works and we know that it enhances well-being, it helps them make new friends, it opens up a whole network of opportunity and creativity. Rather than relying on a silver bullet of a cure, wouldn't it be so much better if in every community you had specialists that were able to support families on this journey and actually ensure that the journey can be as positive and as pleasant as it ever could possibly be? I think it's just an incredible vision um, and, I, and, I, and I know that this is a model of excellence in, in community support and care. Um, the thought of, it, of, of age exchanges, you know, popping up in different parts of the country is fantastic. And, and what's especially exciting about that is that every one of those age exchanges will be different because they will have grown from the community. It will be based on our model, but will have a real kind of local feel to it, and that's important. Last year, I met the principal dementia lead for a major, major hospital nearby. She had personally diagnosed 739 people with dementia in 12 months. I asked her, what happened next? She said, I didn't have anything to refer them on apart from the memory clinic. So if there had been something on her desk that said, when you get a diagnosis, hand them this card that says, there's your local age exchange, that's where you can go, you'll be welcome. She didn't have anything, so I wonder what happened to those 739 people. When somebody gets dementia and they're aware of it, it's overwhelming for them, but it is overwhelming for their family who are desperate to find every means they can to ameliorate, to try to slow the progress, and they're sad and bewildered and stressed, mm. but they also need some psychological release if they are to do that job and be effective and it's through places like Age Exchange that they're going to get that. Imagine purpose-built centres in the heart of the high street, places where creativity and conversations deeply connect with people living with dementia, not only unearthing cherished memories but creating new ones too. These hubs will pioneer cutting-edge technologies and training to support people to live independently for longer. With specialist advisors and peer support, people affected by dementia will always have someone on hand to offer guidance or just a comforting presence. This is a new vision for dementia care. This is the new Age Exchange. One of the really exciting developments is about training carers and giving them the skills to 
to look after the person that they love at home. You're thrown into a role as a carer without any training or experience. It's pretty much the hardest job in the world because you have to do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And having a place, but you're given some of the skills to carry out your role when you're away from age exchange is a really exciting part of it for me. I think it's incredible that people will have dementia experience training. Ultimately, what kind of support can we provide if we don't really understand dementia from the inside ourselves? If you are able to train and equip family members to allow their loved one to live happier, you're actually able to cope for longer in a home environment, which must be in everybody's interest. Imagine the impact of reconnecting people living with dementia with the very essence of who they are. Finding the stories, songs and social joys that bring people to life. What will it mean to have places where carers can not only enjoy a well-deserved break, but also find the help and support that they so desperately need? How different will society be if we can bring generations together to create spaces filled with fun and laughter, meaning that even the most difficult of days are filled with smiles? This is a vision that must become reality. I'm so excited about this partnership. It's really important that communities have these hubs, and if you think about it, there's, there's fewer of these places now. Um, you've got fewer community centres, um, and we need those places where people can meet, where you've got people from all, all backgrounds, and I think Age Exchange does that perfectly. We would see it as a really important tool in the armory of helping people who've got dementia. We want as wide a population to have access to these same services. It's absolutely critical, I think. We need to appreciate that these people that have now got Alzheimer's or dementia were once out in the community doing their bit, and now it's the community, our chance to give them something back. The difference it makes to the families to the service users is, is huge, but also the difference it makes to local communities is, is almost you can't measure it. This needs to be replicated um, across the country. I'm very pleased that we have this in, in my constituency, We've, without a doubt. But it would be very wrong of me not to want other areas to also have what we have. People go away from here happy. They come here and, and they know that age exchange is a safe space for them. It's a creative place for them. And it's a place where they can, they can also be mischievous and have fun as well. We all have a chance that our families will be affected by this disease. And once you are, you'll see quite how destructive it is. And if you can stop a bit of that destruction by creating great communities in which people are supported, I think that's a really special thing to be able to do. We live in a broken society where the most vulnerable people often fall between the cracks. The tidal wave of dementia is coming and we are not prepared. But by uniting together, we can make a difference. Whatever role you can play, please join us. Let's make sure that no one goes through dementia alone. Let's harness the power of our communities. It's time for change. It's time for age exchange.